Hey, Orange One here. So we are back um, in our car. I've just been hanging around. <clears throat> just trying to get these zombies cleared out a little bit more. Um, I would like to get myself some more combat experience because I feel like Harvey's been taking care of everything himself. And I want to clear out a path to the evac shelter. We're back to the evac shelter. Because I think that A, we can. And it'd be also nice for us to be able to just go west out of here. Instead of going around all those uh, trees. Also, I want to like pick up various goods that we're going to need along the way. For upgrading our camp. But if I'm honest, I've kind of forgotten what all the stuff was. So, yeah. We'll see, we'll see how things go. Um, but I think that basically we're going to be doing a little bit more fighting, but this time I'm going to be trying to focus on myself and keeping my morale a little bit higher just to um, actually make this worth our time. Training-wise. And then, I mean, if you look at us combat-wise, we actually are very effective currently. The one concern is that I'm over-dependent on guns. That's really the only thing that has me worried is that um, we're going to run out of bullets eventually and we're going to need to be able to fight decently in those scenarios. So we're going to be working on that. Um, there's quite a few of them there. I think I'm going to dump down... Yeah, we'll dump the guns here in the backpack there. I want to be quick on my feet, basically. And if as needed, I'll have Harvey help out, but... I honestly don't think he's going to be doing a whole lot of that. Um, yeah, so he's he's doing okay. Let's see. Um, oh, this guy's going to cause me some pain. I know it. Yeah, you're going to be nasty. I can just tell already. Uh, hopefully I hit you before the other one gets to us. Uh-oh, now I've got two of them on me. Can I get a little bit distance between us and you? Yes, I can. Then I can take out the runner. There we go. And then see that runner is down, and we'll be able to take you out. Yeah, I know, like, I'm trying to think what's Nosh's style. And I know that um, Erst was saying that, like, the melee was not, didn't really feel like it was quite his style and that he would be using more explosives, and I totally 100% agree. Um, so maybe we can we can work on that a little bit. I'm also a little bit just kind of worried about how many bullets we have currently, and I'm thinking we might want to just like take it slow. Is that a bunch of smoke up there? I think it is. Yeah, I get nervous whenever I see that because it could be an Ickus, and if it's an Ickus, we really don't want to deal with it. I hate those guys. They're so annoying. It is also basically nighttime, so I need to keep that in mind as well while we're fighting the zombies, is that we might be able to do some night raiding here, but really what I wanted to do was like clearing out the city. And like big groups like that, ideally, being able to take them out. Are they coming my way? I feel like they're coming my way. Yeah, they're coming my way. There's quite a few of them actually coming my way too. Um, enough that I might want to fall back. Can I pick up everything else and just go? I think that, yeah, I might want to do that. It just is, that's a pretty sizable group. I know that I'm being a coward, but it's like, in a game like this, I'd rather be a coward than dead, you know? And I know that we're driving without being able to see right in front of us, but that's fine. we got plenty of distance to fall back to. I mean, that group that was coming my way, if I can separate them from the, the main group that was up there, that would be a huge win. Um, let's see, what do we have now, if I look over there? Where are they? Yeah, they're kind of where the car was. 
Are the nadirs? Have they seen me? Like, what's what's the deal here? Kind of confused. They're they're continuing to go east as if they've seen me. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll dump the the guns here. And I also want to drop this. I mean, I suppose I could carry those. I mean, they're not slowing me down really. These guys are gonna grab me though, which is gonna be annoying. I'll have to just kind of take them out. Yeah, actually, the Nadirs, I thought they were tougher enemies, but they're not actually too bad. Anyway, just need to get in there and finish them off, right? Oh, there's a weld. Why am I carrying a welder? Come on, man. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he is healing up a little bit there. That's good. He was having... There was, like, some st weird stuff that was going on in between episodes. Um, I, he may have more health in his head than seems reasonable. I was, like... I was just recording this episode, and he just literally died on me. Like, le legit, just gone. Um, and I was like, wait, what happened? And it turns out that he was badly poisoned in the head from breathing in some toxic gas. And it did a lot of damage, and it killed him. And I didn't realize this, and he, like, I, I ended up reloading it, because it's like, dude, like, I think we would know what was going on there. I had royal jelly, and he wouldn't take it. It was really annoying. I think he just didn't have the need for it in, uh... In his mind, in the AI's mind, you know? Okay, let's drive back up there. I think now we can pretty safely say that... Yeah. Did I? I? I think I smashed the Nadir's corpses, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's just turn the car like... Maybe we'll just make sure that we're in the clear. Yeah, something like that. Uh, before we actually go out and kill those zombies, though, before we do that, let's see about getting ourselves a little entertainment. Um, let's wield that, and we'll play that. That might actually, they might hear us, I just realized. Also, we have our Chihuahua here. I don't know if you guys forgot about Brutus. I haven't. I have not forgot about Brutus. Actually... I had. <laughs> I take that back. I totally was like, do I still have him in there? Do I kill him? Like, I don't remember what I did with Brutus, but he's still in the car. Uh, and then we also have our game watch here, which we can then play. Um, let's do a quick game of Snake. Oh man, I've already messed it up. Nope. That's not going to be it. There we go, though. Okay. We'll do a quick game of Snake. By quick game, I mean probably, honestly, a very quick game because I'm terrible at this game. Oh, there we go. I did the immediate there. That was, that was actually more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there. I, well, I'm dead. <laughs> I tried to be fancy. Let's get that morale up. I might even read a book. Let's just read a little bit for fun. All of these only give me plus one. Let's read about birdhouses. <laughs> okay. I think I might even get rid of that birdhouse book, because that's just honestly just a complete waste. I know it gives a little bit of morale boost, but again, still a waste. A uh, spitter. A spitter I actually would like to shoot, so maybe I'll come down here and get you to... Yeah, I'll come up here and then let's see why. And then, yeah, we'll put that away. And then... Oh! I just went auto. I'm pretty sure that that was that 
that little trait that makes it go auto when you're not trying to make it go auto. I don't think I was auto there. Let's take you over here, dismember you. And there's probably going to be other zombies coming over here now. Uh, can I get the Jane out? Why don't you just drop the gun? Same with the coil gun and the molly pack. Yep, and now we're we're gonna be in some melee. I wanted to do some melee though, honestly. Uh, can I? Oh, we actually already have repair now. Bot's going. Well, if he hurts me, which he probably will, we're probably gonna want the pain CBM. But like, we can take out wrestlers. They're not too bad. They just damage our gear. Oh, our survivor harness actually is pretty badly messed up. Guess we're gonna have to repair that. Come on, I can take him out. The nice thing is that I need to also keep in mind this is really good for my training. Because the harder the enemy, the better it actually trains you. Is that another wrestler? That was another wrestler. Kind of looking at us. Concerning. Oh, we got a shadowed zombie. I'm glad I did not try and fight the wrestler then. Uh, why don't we get that molly and our guns and get out of here? Just getting a little nervous. Yeah, that zombie we don't need to fight right now. They can they can knock on the back of the car. It's just fine. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Um, let's just maybe go here. I don't know, did I, I know I grabbed some leather from a house and used that to repair my leather gear a while ago, but I don't know if I still have that with me. In any case, we'll, we'll catch our breath so that we're not annoying you guys. It sounds like we might have been followed as well. Uh, tailoring kit, go ahead, pick that up. What was it that followed us? Oh, there's the snapper there. Okay. Do I want to melee you? A little nervous about our gear that's already kind of torn up, but I think that we can take them out pretty easily. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Okay, um... Go ahead and pick that up. And then I'm just going to go into this house because I'm pretty sure it's going to have leather for me somewhere in here. Yeah, like, look at all that, right? Tons of leather. So, leather kilt, trench coat. There's all kinds of good things. Go ahead, just cut all that up. And then I am going to see about just activating and repairing. Oh yeah, we need light, of course. Well, we'll take those patches. We'll bring those back to the car. That should be more than enough to repair all of our gear. Yeah, see, leather is, although it's kind of hard to come by, most houses have some leather in it, is what I've found. Uh, can we reload the tailoring kit as well, if there's anything? Nope, nothing else. It's a shame because we are going to have to do this, but this is like, it's kind of like, would you rather do this or... Um, make bullets, you know? That's eff effectively what I've... I think it really comes down to for me. Uh, the riot armor, I think we do need the welder for. And yeah, it's it's worth doing. I'm almost positive. Because I think, especially for our main armor... Okay, we need the soldering iron. Dang it. We might need to replace the batteries in this thing. Yeah, go ahead and put it away. Activate. Can I reinforce it? No, I can't reinforce the game watch. Okay. Yeah, I think that we might want to bring the tailoring kit with us. But I'm not sure if I really want to do that. Now nah, we'll we'll leave the tailoring kit in the car, and we have like the other stuff in it anyways. Um, 
That's good, right? I think that that's good. Let's, let's bring the car back around and we'll, we'll continue to push westward. There was also other zombies that were just like right around here that I just... Um, there's that wrestler there. I mean, I could run the wrestler over. And that definitely hurts them, right? When you run them over like that. It's, a, it's one way of killing a horde, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's charge this guy. Yeah, I think that that... If that didn't kill him, it hurt him at least. Yeah, I think we'll do a little bit more like that, where we're just kind of running them over. You know what we can actually also do is do that. <laughs> we can just run them into the side of a building. Did I do that in the last episode? I feel like I did. Where I just like squished a zombie. <laughs> oh, he did he pop out from the side? I think he popped out from the side, it looks like. Oh, there's actually quite a few of them. Okay. I guess we're just running over the horde there. Jeez, that's actually quite a few. Um, let's just back up for a little bit then. And then we'll t get a better look at them. From the back of the car here. Um, turn off the aisle lights. Can I actually get my flashlight batteries? Um, yeah, I don't think I ever did that. Cool. If I look out here, I think that with the flashlight, if I look out there... Yeah, I still can't see anyone. Let's turn off that flashlight then, because I suspect there's going to be... Yeah. Some zombies that come to us. If it's just that putrid zombie... I will melee them. Uh, yeah, let's get the Jane out. Oh no, we still have like stuff on us I don't really need. Uh, that spitter is also kind of coming towards us. I do have a gas mask on, so I think I'll try and kill the putrid and then run. Can I run? Yes, I can. Cool. That went well. Um, let's just back it up and turn it around a little bit, I think. Yeah, this seems to be a very effective way of killing the acidic ones. Let's just run them over. Much safer than what we've been doing. Got this corrosive zombie. There we go. He finally went flying there. Okay, I think... We might be in the clear now. Just maybe. Let's get the flashlight out. There's a survivor zombie there, but I don't... I'm not too concerned about that. Let's get the Jane back out. And let's drop that molly pack, right? Yeah, I'm okay with it dropping what we dropped there. That seems like a reasonable thing. We are going to be glowing right now, so that means that we are going to have people kind of coming towards us, I think. Wasn't there? Yeah, there was a spitter down here that we probably want to take out. I know that it also seems like completely unnecessary to be clearing all these guys out, but I kind of feel like that's like the whole point of the game, is to clear. And so I do get like on a little bit of like a... Not like a crusade. Yeah, no, it's like a crusade. It's like a crusade to take back the earth. Right? Oh, you you want to come out? I think he was saying that he wants to come out. Um, I think before we do anything, we'll just kind of yeah, kind of check out the surroundings because there's probably some that fell back. This is actually right by where we last were in the last episode, huh? I think we were just like down like here maybe in the last episode if it wasn't in the last episode that's like what where i've been kind of fighting the zombies recently kind of blurred in between what i've been doing off camera and on 
Essentially, my, my wife has been working from home. Um, and it's summer right now, so I don't have to <laughs> do anything. And, but I can't be super loud while she's trying to get work done, you know? So I've been, like, playing the game quietly. <laughs> um, any more corpses? I do need to really go through the, the downed enemies, because there can be really good ones. Uh, that wrestler and that hollow. Um... Oh man, the wrestler's moving the vehicle. Let's get the gun out for this. Sorry, wrestler, I don't feel like fighting you. <laughs> uh, go ahead and just put that in the inventory and get the Jane out. Um, there is now two enemies kind of coming towards me. Can I? Kill the grabber before the other one gets me. Yes, I can. Cool. Then I'm okay with that. Uh, let's turn off sensory dulling because I think that does slow you down slash make you more tired. Oh no, did he... He just infected me or bit me. So I need to... It's a bite. It's not a deep bite still. Um, I think we need antiseptic for that. Which I don't think that we, I've actually been carrying on me. Because I've been using it to heal him up. And you know what was weird? The first aid kit that I last opened up didn't give me one. Uh, really? Okay. Yeah, give me one of those, please. And I'm going to open it and hopefully get... Yeah, I got some antiseptic. I think the other one must have just been damaged then or something. Cool. Because um, we need that antiseptic. And we do actually have tons of first aid kits, so we actually have tons of that. Okay, looks like that cleaned the wound. Great. Awesome. I'm happy with that. I think we'll leave the car there, because we have been essentially fighting there this entire time. I could do a little bit of unarmed combat. Oh, Kevlar zombie. Probably not what I want to do unarmed combat against. This guy could hurt me pretty bad. My focus isn't great either, so let's uh, let's get the gun out. Yeah, I think that you, my friend, we can take out pretty easily. Like that, yeah. I'll just take a couple steps back. Put our gun away. Which is not very highly loaded right now. Oh, there's two snappers now. Can I trap one of you maybe in the car here? I think I can get one of them trapped in the car. Yeah, come at me. Yeah, I <laughs> got one of them trapped in a car. <laughs> oh, hopefully you don't smash through that windshield, though. I mean, I know he will, but the of the fact is that I will take out his friend first. Oh man, I love it. Now this is nauseous style. Um, let's see, we'll play him a little harmonica. Yeah, this is definitely nauseous style. <laughs> let's just wait a little bit. Is there anything else I can do for fun? And I could play the game. I'm just a little bit worried that he would actually catch me doing that. What about, um, what about food? I'm just curious. Is there any food that I could eat that might boost my morale? No, there's just rotten Necco wafers. Gross. Super gross. Wasn't the spitter like around here or something? Yeah, here we go. I thought he was there, but I just also didn't believe my eyes. Um, ultra high battery. Sure, I'll take that. 
And just because I know our character is craving fire, we'll give them a little fire. Oh look, there's zombies coming towards us. Can I get them to run into that little fire that I just made? Uh, maybe not. There's actually a necromancer with them. Okay, let's, let's uh, stop playing that then. Maybe we'll get the Jane out. There's that one that I have trapped. I'm gonna kind of uh, try and lose some of them through this house, I think. I haven't tried this maneuver in a while. Let's just wait there for a little bit, because he's like gonna go into the house there. I think they're inside of the house. I think I kind of lost some of them there. There was just a lot of them, you know? Now there's a feral predator there. Yeah, why don't you come over here? I can take out a feral predator. Just 1v1. Very comfortable with that. And then our car was up here. Oh yeah, there's that trap snapper. <laughs> why don't we let him out? Just because it's a little bit easier if things are cleared out, right? Come here, Necromancer. What if I trap the Necromancer inside the car? That would be hilarious. No, I'm not going to do it because I need to kill the other ones. Oh, he's not actually trying to melee me. The sneaky so-and-so. There we go, he's down. Okay. Can I... Now oh, these blobs are kind of on me, on me being annoying. Yeah, I think I, I've kind of lost the blobs. Not really. There we go. Okay, the two of those blobs, yeah, they're kind of down there. I'm gonna go this way. I can totally take these guys out. 1v1. Not a big deal. Um, let's see. Oh, there's that blob there. I'm just gonna kind of take him for a walk. And then we'll just kind of... Oh, there's actually a zombie in here. I can't break three. There we go. Let's just get out. Can't close that from this side. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna take out the screecher, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Man, the snappers chased me down all the way over here. I would be impressed. Um, let's see. Oh no, we're, we've got some issue. Um, I could run through this car and that would kind of work. Let's just wait a minute. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait a while. Wait until I catch my breath, it's fine. There's only, um, actually no. Stop catching breath, there's actually a few of them descending on us, like Kevlar Holt being the most concerning. Oh, is my right leg infected? Well, let's get to our car and disinfect our leg. I didn't even see that. When did that happen? Uh, let's see. Where's the antiseptic? Here we go. Yep. Cool. Also, we can do something like that, and if there are any batteries near I, I need power. Yes. Cool. No available. Alright. Um, that one Hulk that was there has me a little bit concerned. That's the one thing that could really damage 
our car. I'm just gonna kill that zombie, I think. I feel like we're in the thick of it right now with the fighting. You know what I mean? There's like a lot of zombies around here, but like at the same time it's very manageable numbers. But there there seems to be a lot is at, at the same time it's kinda hard to really get a gauge for it during the night, you know? I think we just killed that one, but again I'm not sure. If not dead, they're hurt. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go back there just quite yet, just because I think that there's other zombies that we can kill the top to face big boss man, that Kevlar, like that corrosive zombie. Can I run over the corrosive? Does that get rid of their body? Yeah, okay cool. So that got rid of his his body. I like that. Quite a bit actually. Again, there's that unknown smoke monster. Got me a little freaked out. Uh it's an Ickus. Did I kill the Ickus? I think I killed the Ickus. And I don't know where that corrosive zombie's body went, but I think that we're in the clear. Kind of. Okay, we're not quite in the clear. We're gonna have to do some holding after this. I got a feeling. Maybe not, though. I think I'm just gonna back up a little bit. We'll assess. Uh, there's a shattered zombie there. We'll just assess the situation for a minute. I think that we're okay. Sounds like they're to our south. Um, there's the Kevlar Hulk there. Let's um, get him away from our car. Kevlar Hulk, come this way. Do not go towards our friend. I do have my gun. I do have my leg pouches that have ammo in it. It's just kind of not the most accessible. Uh, can I get that Hulk to come towards me and through this house? I think I'm gonna have to kill the Shriekling. Um, okay, though. Yeah, I think that we can... And now we're running. I would rather not run. And I'd also rather we, that we weren't picking things up, but whatever. Okay, I think um, let's run right now, because we really need to run for the... and get out. And then I might smash and get in here. And then I don't think they'll see me walking through like... So, okay, so we kind of gave that Hulk a little run around. I don't know where exactly they are, but I think we can kill this ethereal relatively safely. Man, never mind. Jeez. Okay, let's get, definitely get sensory dueling on them. And I'm just looking at the time and realizing that we're quite a bit over half an hour. Um, so thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.